Enemy Intel is brought to you by Rothman Institute at Jefferson, the official orthopedic and healthcare partner of the Philadelphia Eagles. I know the San Francisco 49ers are 0-7, but I can guarantee you one thing. When Eagles defensive coordinator Jim Schwartz looks at the 49ers offense, he won't care about the record. What he's going to see is an offense that's run by Kyle Shanahan. And he knows from experience that Kyle Shanahan is one of the best designers of the pass game in the NFL. And one of his staple concepts is what we call the post-cross combination. And you must be able to defend that. So that's important for the Eagles. Now let's take a look at the post-cross combination. And let's go back to last week, which was C.J. Beathard's first start. You're going to see Pierre Garçon. He's at the top of the screen. He's going to run the crosser. Marcus Goodwin, at the bottom of the screen, is going to basically run the post. So it's a post-cross combination, and the Cowboys are playing cover three. That's an Eagles coverage staple, cover three. You get the counter run action that holds the underneath coverage. You get the middle of the field open. You get Beathard making an easy throw to Garçon on the crosser. That's the post-cross combination, really well executed. Now, as I said, Kyle Shanahan's been coaching for a long time. Last year in Atlanta, as the offensive coordinator, it was a record-setting year. The Falcons averaged more than seven yards per play. Think about that. What did he run last year as a staple play? Post-cross. So what you get here is Julio Jones running the crossing route against Jalen Mills. There's a little pressure here on Matt Ryan, so he has to step up and probably throw it a tad later, so it looks a little different, but this is still the post-cross combination. Now let's even go back further in Kyle Shanahan's career. This is RG3's first game as a Washington Redskin. Kyle Shanahan was the coordinator that year in Washington. You see the exact same concept, post-cross. Again, pressure, but what happens here? RG3 is able to get the ball out, he hits Pierre Garçon on the crossing route, and he was able to turn it into an 80-plus yard touchdown. But it all stems from a basic concept that the Eagles must defend. Jim Schwartz will be aware of it. It's the post-cross combination. All right, Ike Reese, the Eagles are really familiar with Kyle Shanahan, with the Redskins and the Falcons, and who did the best job last year against that Falcons offense? The Eagles defense. They really know a lot of the plays that he runs, huh? You look at what Kyle Shanahan likes to do. He's going to run play action. This is a first and 15 situation here. So when you get play action, he wants to try to get these guys to suck up on the run play and try to get these deep routes in behind the zone coverage of this defense, right? So the key for the Eagles and they did such a great job with this last year is getting depth. You got eyes on the quarterback, eyes on the quarterback, eyes on the quarterback. Everybody is watching that play action once they realize it's not a run. And this cover two scheme, Jordan Hicks here, his responsibility is to find that guy deep down the middle. You're going to see this receiver coming in here, Taylor Gabriel sitting down there. Jordan does a great job looking him up. But here's why I think the play is made. You got Jalen Mills sitting here on the outside, again, with his eyes in the backfield. Now, typically in cover two, flats is his responsibility, but he's not immediately threatened by anybody, so he gets depth where they can sort of bracket this inside receiver there. And you see, Matt Ryan has nowhere to go. You got the two safeties over the top, taking care of the deep ball here. You got two guys over here looking at the backs leaking out in the flat. This play is here if Jalen Mills decides to play up. Matt Ryan would have this receiver coming out here so when you play the 49ers this week the key in zone coverage will be immediately get your depth recognize that it's not a run pass but get your eyes back on the quarterback and look up these receivers they want to try to get you to jump on things underneath but the Eagles have to be disciplined in their drops getting back get to the sticks that's the best thing they did there it was first and 15 they made sure they got to the sticks and they would allow anything underneath as opposed to anything behind them.